Welcome to CAD Tutorials, and in this video, I'll be doing question 69, 1.5 exercises in James Stewart calculus. So, you're asked to prove that the left hand side equals to the right hand side. So, for proof, you're supposed to choose one side. Let's choose the left hand side. And on this side, you see that we have an angle, and this is what I mean by that. So, if you had sine of theta equals to x, assuming that x is a value, this angle will be equal to arc sine of x. That's what I mean. So this is an angle, and we can call it anything. But we might as well call it theta. So now, using this, on the left-hand side, we essentially have cosine of theta. And using these rules over here, we know that your sine is y over r. And it's just a bit inconvenient, but our y is now x in this case, and the r is 1. So using this trig ratio, we can just translate it to what we have over there. So our y is x, and our r is 1. And we now want to find cosine of theta. The cosine of theta, or cosine, we know that it is x over r, based on the trig ratios. So our task now is to find x, not this x, but the actual coordinate x, um, and as I said, it's just a bit inconvenient or unfortunate that we have a value called x and we also need to work with x. So we can use Pythagoras, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So this x is the coordinate which we're looking for, which we want to substitute to find our cosine. And the y just so happens to be x from this. And our r is 1. So x is x over 1, so r is 1. So now I have, let's, let's not add these. So you shouldn't add these because they're basically not the same thing. And we're going to have x squared equals to, so this x squared equals to 1. So 1 squared is 1 minus this one. So rx is equal to the square root of 1 minus x squared. Remember that normally when you apply your square root, you'd have the plus and minus here, then you decide. So I guess in this case, we can decide that it's the positive one. And now that we have the x, we're going to substitute it here. Cosine of theta of any angle is the x that you have divided by your r, and the r is 1. So this is basically that. Yeah. And if you look at this, it's exactly what the right-hand side is. And we have proven this statement. 